of you know me as Mika, the queen. I'm a born again Christian. I'm a mom to two adorable daughters, ages of 11 and 6. I'm, an, I'm a firstborn in my family that consists of girls and one boy, you know. So all my life I've been surrounded by women. And uh, I love my love for God. For through his word, I've learned to be truthful. You get the Holy Spirit has shaped me to be truthful. And as the Bible states, Jesus is the way, the truth, and the life. He is the truth as well, you know. And as a Christian, I'm emulating Jesus. And um, the truth shall always set you free. I'm not here to take sides. I don't know who is right. I don't know who is wrong. I'm here to speak about what I saw. You understand? And never will I ever nicker advocate for rape. I will never do that. I have girls. My first one is 11. She's entering, she's, she, I'm soon to be a, a mom to a teenager. You understand? And never would I ever, God forbid, want such a thing to befall anybody close to me. God forbid. So, I love families a lot. I love marriages. That is an institution from God himself. You're getting. And I wouldn't want to say or utter any words that may affect or cause harm to anyone's marriage. You understand? Because that is not the whole point for this video. I have not been at peace since I saw, I saw the story of Diana and Willie Paul since yesterday. I slept, I woke up in the morning to prepare my children for school. And when I was preparing my children for school, I was like, as a mother, what have I been teaching my children? I've been teaching my children to always be honest. No matter how ugly the truth looks, be honest, say it as it is. Don't twist anything say it as it is don't try to look good say it as it is you know and it will set you free and i said as a christian that i am i will say what i have to say and i want to say this i'm not cloud chasing for anything i don't have new me i don't have a song that i want to release or anything i'm not cloud chasing i am not doing kiki no it's because where I'm seeing this thing going, the direction it's going, it's not going to be good, you see. And you know what happens when an issue that affects a woman comes out? At times people forget to be neutral because we are all following the emotional side, you get, of which I totally understand you're getting. And uh, this was around, I think, five, or six years back, five, I think five years ago, or see, I don't know the exact time, the exact date, I don't know, but it was at night. I used to live, when I was married to Ofoneke, my ex-husband, we used to live at Great Hall Apartments at Beijing Road, and we used to live in phase two. There are three phases, this phase one, this phase two, and then this phase three, you get and uh, in Gretel, back then, in Gretel Apartments, we used to have, um, in phase two, we never had, we, we never used to have a movie shop. So if you wanted to get a movie, you would go to phase one. Yeah, at that time it was just phase one, if I'm not wrong, that you would just go. And then later on is when the movie shop at phase three was opened. So, uh, one day, it was not even a day, it was at night. I was, um, I was with my ex-husband then, when uh, Willie Paul came to visit. But he didn't come in the house, he didn't enter the house. So I think we were taking a stroll with my ex-husband then around the estate. So Willie Paul was driving a white Mark X at that time. So Willie Paul pulled over 
to where we were at the entrance of our block. We used to live in block C. And it was at night. It was it was at night. I remembered well. Willy Paul came out. And as we all know, anybody that knows Willy Paul knows that Willy Paul always plays his songs. <laughs> Willy Paul always loves playing his songs. You're getting. So that time, I think it's when he had done a collab with Saudi Soul. I think it was Take It Slow. The one you better have, take it, take it, take it, take it, take it slow, I think. And Akakuwa uh, Natuskizisha, that song. You're getting. Akatuskizisha from his car with the speakers on. And as we did not enter the car, we were standing. Willy Paul Pia and Itoka to Kasmama Water Ponje. But what caught my attention is Willy Paul was not alone. Willy Paul had a company of a woman. Get. And the lady was dressed in white, and the lady was seated at the co driver seat. You're getting my point. This is in phase two. You get. So when the song was blasting, the girl as well was jamming to the song. Which later on, when Diana became famous, is when I came and realized oh, the same lady that was in the post car was Diana. You're getting. So, I want to, to at least correct something that I had her say. From when they left first to get, I don't know what transpired. I don't know what went down. I don't know. That one, I will not speak of it because I don't know. What I will speak of is my truth. I have watched Diana's video. You understand? I have watched Diana's video. And he says, if it was in first one, because I remember, I think Diana lived in first one before later on moving to first three to a bigger house. So, because I think first three is three bedrooms, and in first one it's, I think, two bedrooms. So, and the movie shop in first one is on first floor. You get. So, Diana saying she was at a movie shop. When they started talking, Willy Paula came on, they get into it. That was the first floor. Mind you, they had to walk down all the way to where the car was at. You get. Diana says when she entered the car, Willy Paul drove off immediately. You understand? Drove off and went to her, to, to his apartment. But mind you, these are two people that came together in the same car and entered phase two, where there is no movie shop where Diana is not living and they came together and as the look of things if Diana was really being harassed at that point I don't know what happened beyond the gate I'm just talking at that point she, she should have used the opportunity to get out of the car but she never used that opportunity to get out of the car actually she was jamming to the song you getting my point so now this is leaving me to disagree with her concerning the point of pickup at Gretel and how they drove off. You're getting, that is my honest truth. And I don't know if Ofweneke still remembers this because we were with him. If he remembers this, I know he will say also the truth. You're getting. And one thing I want to say is we all have our past. Some of our pasts are embarrassing. You're getting. But... Let us not be ashamed of it. Let's put it out there as it is. You're getting. We are human. And man is to error. Nobody is perfect. You're getting. Let it put it let us put it out there as it is. That is all I can just say. Like that is my honest truth. And I don't know by that time if they had install, installed CCTVs, but I don't know if they can get a footage of it. Uh now or I don't know but that is all I can say from the look of things from what I saw with my naked eyes the, la the lady was not held against her wishes the car actually the driver's car was open Willy Paul came even when the song was playing the driver's car was open me I was there there are watchmen at the gate you're getting so yeah that is all I can say and that is my honest truth. Diana, I love you. I love your projects you're doing. I love you as a family woman. 
and I know maybe you're trying to protect your family. I don't know what is beneath all these stories. I don't know if your husband does not know the truth. Maybe that is why you're covering up. I don't know if you are truly assaulted. Uh, but if you are truly like almost becoming uh, raped or you're always raped, you're almost raped. I don't know. You're getting. As far as I'm concerned, I'm just talking from the pickup point where Alisema Gary ilikuja wakaingia kwa gari and ulipol drove off. No. Driving all the way to phase one and entering phase two, you had an opportunity to escape or do whatever you had to do. So guys, as a mother that I am, as a sister that I am, as a woman that I am, let's look at things on a neutral ground. Depression is real. And it's affecting men more than women. You know, depression is real. Let's not do things jokingly. And maybe the other party is really depressed. They're on the corner and then you don't know what might happen next. Please, let's handle all these things with care. That's all I can say. I love you all and may God bless you.